down our ominous chamber. And to do that, we need to first, step one, get ourselves the ominous effect. This is done with a pillager outpost, so we need to find one of these guys who has the big banner on his head that looks kind of sad. And we need to kill one of these people ourselves. This is going to be easy. We're going to make a big X on him. And once we kill him, we'll get a potion, uh, which will give us the ominous effect. This is a very lovely little potion, which we can use for step two, because then we need to go to a trial chamber. The trial chamber is a, is, is a fun giant structure. We need to go straight into one of these, which is going to be a little bit of a time. Okay, let's make the X a little prettier now. So yeah, we need to kill a pillager. We need to go to the trial chamber and then step three is to go and find a trial spawner. Uh, after we've got ourselves enough loot in there to feel comfortable taking it down as an ominous trial spawner. So this is going to change it entirely. It's going to make it, uh, you know, a brand new type of trial chamber. And once we do that, we're going to get a key as our reward. The key will look something like this. That's what keys look like, trust me. And then step four is we're going to use that key on a vault. The vault looks like this, but it's kind of ominous looking. Oh yeah, it's so mad. And uh, we use that over there, and then we will get the heavy mace in legit survival, or something else entirely. Can we do all four steps today? Well, let's find out, I guess, because hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and this is my struggle to beat Minecraft in an ominous world. Ooh, what's gonna be ominous about it? This is the newest snapshot and they have made a lot of changes. So let's jump right into it, shall we? So first things first, I need to let the world uh, render distance load in. It is horrifically low on the Java edition, but we'll make do because yeah, there is no equivalent uh, snapshot or preview of this for the Bedrock version of the game. It is very interesting that they didn't do that. I imagine that makes it likely that they're getting closer to a 1.20.80 release. But yeah, so I, what I did is I very briefly found a Java seed where there was a pillager out post near spawn where a trial chamber was found below it and also with a village so we could get some food and hopefully some supplies too. Will that be enough today? Well, let's find out. Can I do all four steps today? And a Cyclops hopes I can and hopefully everyone else does too. So yeah, we start our run as you always do with a lovely bit of um lovely bit of hanging out underwater. Also, for your information, you can get Ominous Bottles 1 to 3 from Trial Spawners 2. Yeah, this is a way to guarantee that I get it, though. Uh, it, so this is the fun thing. Getting Ominous Bottles um, is something you can do from Trial Spawners, and you can also get Ominous Bottles from Ominous Spawners, but the only way to guarantee 100% chance that you'll get it, if you if you believe in absolutes, uh, the only way to do that is obviously to kill a Pillager, who will now, instead of giving you the bad omen effect, gives you a bad omen bottle effectively, a change I really like. Oh, look how anime this is. That's so odd. Why does it look like that here? Anyway, with that said, let's grab some food. This should be enough for <laughs> the run. One of the problems of trying to take on a trial chamber the moment you spawn is you don't have a lot of food. And if we're going for an ominous trial chamber, the harder variant, this is gonna, you know, this is to trial chambers what a raid is to villagers. It's like the, the one of the harder challenges you can take on. I think we're gonna need some food. 42 bread should be fine, but we have enough for a lot more than that if we want it. Then we're gonna get some wood. Thankfully, villagers also have a lot of that. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. So um, you should try the Distant Horizons mod someday. Allows for run distances of 200 chunks on Java. The thing about Java I don't like is everything requires a mod. And it's like, then one of those mods, like I'm sure everyone's experienced this. Like, oh yeah, you, you run uh, a plugin in your browser and that one plugin doesn't work. So a whole website doesn't work and you don't know why. Having that with mods where something doesn't work and you have no idea what's causing it. It's just so stressful. There's a reason people like the vanilla game, even though mods can do so much more. And it sucks because there's so much which is locked behind mods, which could be so much better uh, if it was mods. But there is a reason that not everyone makes the decision uh, to play with those. So yeah, we have to make some things manually. It's a bit of a while since I've done some manual crafting, but hopefully uh, I'm good enough at it. Uh, yeah, I usually play the Bedrock version of the game, uh, but today I'm playing Java because there is no Bedrock equivalent. Womp womp. Um, very sad. But you know what? We can we can deal with sadness today. If it means that I get some, I'll just you know I'll just use the stone pickaxe as my way to kill the uh, golem. Actually, actually, you know, I'll get some wood. I think I feel like wood is going to be valuable. So we'll get a stick and we'll mine some pieces of stone, and then we'll use those stones to make an axe. We'll use the axe to kill the golem to practice my Java combat a little bit before going into somewhere very scary. And then I'll use the golem to make a iron sword because I'm, I think I'm going to need one of those. So just see what's in here. A single gold nugget. It's not, not what I was hoping for. And then we're just going to hop up over to this guy and go. Okay, get away from this. Down under the ground as quickly as we can go. Two blocks is enough, but I still go the third block just for safety reasons. And then swing, wait, swing, wait, swing, wait, swing, wait. 
So yeah, the axe does a whopping nine damage on the Jar Edition, but in exchange you have to wait until that plus shows up just below my crosshair. Which really means there's a second crosshair if you think about it. So good luck Toy Cat says Johnny Ops. Thank you very much. Good luck to you too. I am excited about how this one is going to go. Um, four iron is better than I was expecting. So we can now make a shovel or something. Uh, realistically, I'm going to make the sword. I'm going to make a shield. And then we'll see what else we make. I have no idea how to make a shield. I always do it wrong, chat. But I think I think this is it, right? Hey, first time. You <laughs> Last time I was doing it with Ulraf, I think everyone in stream could see my visible confusion as I was trying to make one. But like we were busy talking, so I couldn't like ask. I was like just I was just trying again and again and again. It was a lot of fun. So with that said, place down that, and this is probably as much as we're getting a value from this village. We could go for a little peek around, but I think we don't need to. I think this is as good as we can reliably hope for. Besides maybe a potion, I guess. But yeah, with that said, let's hop out of here. Let's make all of this into food, maybe bar one, but you not know, all of it into food. Uh, wheat craft, and then we'll do another wheat craft, and then we take all of this, and a fourth wheat craft. Boom. 42 bread. That is my bread for the run. Now I'm going to take on a pillager outpost. This one's a little scary, but it's fine. Also, um, yeah, I, uh, in the uh, there's a new type of trial chambers, says Marco Carrillo. Yeah, if you go to the trial chambers with a bad omen effect, the trial spawners will give you a much bigger challenge. I uh, Let me tell you, it is a bizarre experience. I think that there's a tactic to which ones you use for that, though, because... Um, if you, if you summon, say, skeletons, they'll come in with armor, which is kind of fun. But, uh, okay, so we have to... Oh, no, you... Oh, okay. Shields work differently on Java. Useful to know. We're gonna let these arrows bounce into each other. And just kind of... Oh, still keep them all ahead of me, though. Oh, no. Okay, so we have to get behind this. And let them all... Okay, there we go. We got the pillage captain. I just need him for his banner. And so let's go. Let's do it. So as soon as they've drawn back their bows, let's go. Okay. I'm spamming too much, chat. Okay. I spammed a little bit too much there, but it's fine. I'm going to get a crossbow now, which is nice. So double spam. Yay! We got one. Okay. Bad omen. We got bad omen too. This will last for one hour, 40 minutes. Again, if you if you haven't experienced this snapshot yet, I've got a video coming in on it soon. Uh, what I do is I work on the video, then when I'm str then I stream for a little bit while the video is being edited because I'm gonna do something. Love love the snapshots, and we're just gonna quickly kill all of these pillagers while we look for a oh ouch, while we specifically look for a um, another guy of the ruined thing. Also look at that, the thing's on fire. <laughs> what caused that? Is it is it on a lava pit or something? Yep, it's on a lava pit. Chat. Okay, so I don't believe we're gonna get another. Uh, another raid or another ominous bottle from this, but I felt like it was worth checking. But yeah, there's just so many pillagers, not enough reward for me to actually want to kill them. Although there's nothing in this uh, cage over here, and so honestly, we could just hop right out, and we probably wouldn't lose. Oh no, there is another guy. There's another guy right there. I have no idea where he was hiding the whole time, but I'm just gonna eat the bread. Oh dear God. Okay, we we have a <laughs> we have a problem, chat. What do you do when you have this many pillagers in one place? Um. I guess we could try and burn them. Yeah, if we get them close to this structure, they will naturally just burn themselves, right? So we'll just close them all off. They can't get in here now. I'm going to walk to the top of this burning. <laughs> you know what? The pillagers should have subscribed to IBX Toy Cat. I, uh, a little fact you might not have known is that uh, greater than 99% of house fires don't happen to people who are subscribed to the channel. Uh, something I bet the pillagers wish they knew right now. Well, I'll grab the goat horn, but I won't be using it for anything real. It's just kind of a fun little go goofy meme. And then we'll see if we can't light any of these fellas on fire. Um, I'd be willing to bet we it can, in fact, not. So let's grab all of this into one place. Let's climb over to the tree. And, yeah, I think at this point we just say, that guy over there is isolated. Let's go get him. Let's specifically jump down on top of him. That's suicide. That is actual suicide. There's a guy in this cage. How did you get in there? <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna get in. Here we go. Okay, so we're just gonna rely on all the pillagers killing all the other pillagers. Because I want that bad omen bottle. And I want it bad omen. Um, okay, so you can you can you can do this, fellas. You can keep fighting. And I promise you it will work out for you eventually. Someone is gonna benefit from this go under here. Eat a little bit and then get it back out. Okay, just last 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 guy before the big boss. Go, go, yes! Okay, second bottle. I think the second one must be level one. It is level one, but that's still fine. Level one and a level two. We can now happily take down with us underground. So where do we go underground? I hear you not asking. Uh, I do know where our trial chamber is on this seed. 
it's honestly, if you don't have a trial chamber though, you can easily find one. Like, I think this would be a fun random seed challenge. Because of the trial chamber maps, you can now just use those if you really want to. But uh, yeah, we want to go to 123 and 351, which is over here. And then we're just going to dig straight down. We've got more or less the right place. And uh, oh man, look at that structure. It is looking bad over there. But let's just get down as fast as we can. And then let's take on a trial chamber with not quite zero loot, but with the, the bare minimum you need to get this done. Warning, the mobs are harder, says Freedom Hive. Exactly. I am I am very prepared for that. I got absolutely mauled when I was trying it against cave spiders of all things. So I'm curious to see how it goes today. I've got some Pepsi Max and a Pepsi Max class today. It's a uh, it's all product placement. So let me just uh, let me just do a little word from our sponsor. Have you tried Pepsi Max? It's like regular Pepsi, but it tastes slightly better. And regular Pepsi is just like water, but with a tiny bit of tiny bit of sugar in there to keep you interested. So what if we took the one ingredient in in soda that makes people interested and took it out and argued that the real reason you're there is the carbonation? Well, that, my friends, is Pepsi Max. Pepsi give toy cat money. <laughs> I uh, there's a lot of products I genuinely would chill for in a heartbeat. I do feel. Hey, we're here now, chat. Okay. Oh god, I messed that up by one block. Maybe it did matter <laughs> which one I fell down on. Hey, thank you, uh, Toby Piggy, for gifting your membership. Do do. Oh, I think that was Adam Sony gifting the membership. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to check these chests. It's just wooden axes. I don't. Can I tell you my biggest disappointment, chat? My single biggest disappointment is they say they've worked on the final feature now, but then you look behind here, and what do you see? You see nothing. What is the... Whatever, it's fine. Okay, we're going deep into this structure, and once I feel safe enough, I'll be using this ominous bottle. Obviously, I need a bed, so I'll set one, although actually, I could probably just climb under here. All right, you know, let's, let's go in here, see what this chest has. It is often something very good for me. And, oh, a free diamond, and two wind charges. I'll take them. I'll also dump some of the garbage that I know I'm going to regret having later. And uh, so future me, you're welcome. Inventory management by current toy cat. That's how you know I'm having an organized day chat. Um, so here we are in the trial chamber. And if you've noticed from the thumbnail, I'm sure you have. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, it's it's a different layout to the last one I went into. But you might have noticed they have this interesting statue here. So tell me what you see here, chat. Because everyone sees a spider. When oh, no, I don't see a spider when I look at this, actually. Maybe that's something, maybe that's a silverfish now. But when I look at this, all I can see is Herobrine. Do you, see, let's do a poll in chat. Um, do you see Herobrine or do you see a bogged? I would love to know which of those you are looking at. Anyway, with that said, let's now work our way into the chambers. It's a bit of a terrifying one, but we've got plenty of cobblestone. So I'm just going to make a staircase up. It's going to uglify the place the tiniest bit. Uh, so creepy, says uh, David. You know, but is creepy Herobrine or is creepy a bogged? Uh, I, I don't think Mojang ever deliberately adds Herobrine stuff to the game. I think... Oh, okay. So it I had to get really close to this for it to actually activate. And it gives me just medium slimes. I like that. I That's a big improve. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay, there's a big slime. Is that a big slime, actually? I guess we'll see what it splits into. But uh, yeah, spawning some medium slimes to break things up. I love this too. So, um, strays have white eyes and it's got a skeleton mouth. It's a stray. Oh, but is that what big stray wants you to think? No, it's definitely a bulk, right? I mean, it's it, it's not gonna... Okay, so, chat. I'm, I'm interested in your results. Speaking of interest in your results, it's a toy cat on the wall. You know, that's true. Instead of the glass being half empty or half full, there is, in fact, toy cat inside of it at all times, as we all know. So now let's hop down here. We're gonna, again, what we're doing now is I'm getting my stuff a little bit strengthened by going to the trial chamber and taking down the most dangerous of these spawners, I guess. Um, so that way we can do a ominous bottle for one of the less dangerous ones. But I'm thinking at this point we should just go in and make this happen anyway. Okay, should we do it? Let's do our bad omen one first. The next spawner we run into will be a lot more interesting, chat. Let me tell you that much. Oh, it's already there's already a spider spawned. Okay, never mind. My, my challenge is going to win. I'm going to drink this anyway. Just to see what this does to me. Oh. And then that's a fun effect. As you can see, it immediately affected the one that was already active in front of me. And so now this is a ominous spawner chat. What does ominous mean? It's going to spawn some extra effects to mess me up. And uh, if, I'm not if I'm not lucky, as I'm looking to not be, I might just die. But we'll hope that I can be some amount of lucky. 
and also hope that I can deal with this many slime. Again, doing this on a zombie or a skeleton spawner, so much worse. All I have to deal with are these random effects here or there. <laughs> Where did that arrow come from? Um, the random effects every there, here and there, the extra mobs, and uh, the general sense of foreboding uh, weirdness that is happening right here. But we'll do just great otherwise. Um, this is going to break raid farms of Bad Omen. Yeah, it's a, um, like, everyone knows the raid farm was, like, a bit of an overcomplicated, like, it, it's a cool thing that someone made it work, right? That, that we need to give credit to. Some people say, like, oh, raid farm's OP. Whoever first made the raid farm did something very cool and smart and, like, really something to be applauded. But, like, also, we just got a potion of regen from this, which is nice. Wait, so that was my ominous spawner? All I got from it was a regen potion. So now we're going to take down another one, and we're just going to pray that we get better chat. Oh, no, it also affected this one, it looks like. It does affect more than one. So we can hope that this goes better. I'm going to make sure I eat after killing this fella. Nice and easy for me. And uh, just run, race back in there. Maybe take down these webs. You know, they, they might get in my way later. Let's go kill some spiders. Cave spiders are such a weird mob to kill in large numbers too, honestly. Oh, okay. So you can hear the spawner make some weird noises, by the way, there, right? But yeah, I'm not here for the noises. I'm just here to get my reward. Where are the last of these spiders? I think I must have killed them Oh, almost, maybe. But I don't know. Oh, and there's... Okay, this slime spawner has just gone more powerful too, chat. I've got the levitation effect on me right now. Slow falling. Which is, weirdly enough, kind of a benefit. Oh, a trial key. So, yeah, the regular spawner, you can immediately reactivate as a ominous spawner. So, it is worth taking it down the regular way first. Is what I'm learning from this right now. But, yeah, I need to get in there and I need to do this soon. For some reason, I don't have this sweeping edge effect right now, chat. Is this, is this normal? <laughs> like, I'm... I guess we shouldn't be using the sword this even, but just slam all my fist. Oh, they've got slightly more health, it looks like. I think they're meant to die in one hit, right? But, uh, a few of them are taking two. Anyway, is that the spawner finished? I don't know that it is. Where did the slimes get to? Let's fall down slowly. Take him out. Maybe eat some bread while we're here. Okay, lovely. Um, mending uh, can be from the mace. It simply wouldn't be worth getting. I think that it would be worth it with unbreaking, but you would have to... Because you've got to remember, you can repair it with breeze rods, and so it, it would be entirely worth... Like, Mojang could have gone back to their old school systems, basically, but they're not. But I understand why, because otherwise a lot of people would say, compared to what's in the game already, this isn't worth getting. And that's what Mojang has to balance for. They can't make their perfect game from scratch. They have to acknowledge what the game looks like right here, right now. And sometimes that means doing some things that feel... Less than ideal. Speaking of less than ideal, chat! <laughs> oh, yeah. I have finally got my hands on an ominous trial key. That fast. 16 minutes, 20 seconds. So, yeah, the odds of getting something incredible from this are not as high as I'd like to imagine. But, uh, yeah, we'll make a little staircase up, I guess. So, place a block over, over here. And then a block up here. And then, I know, a couple blocks here. And then... It's, it's all slowly working, chat. We, we're there. It took a bit, but we did it. And now, for the moment of truth. Mate, it's only been 16 minutes, finally. Are we going to use the Omnis Trial Key? Not yet, actually. I want to I make sure I finish up all the enemies here first. So, yeah, there are still some spiders left over, or this would have spat out its rewards. But it is still active. So we have to look around for spiders. And I'm guessing wherever the potion effects are spawning has something to do with where there are spiders. It's just my guess. I don't have any confirmation of that. What do you reckon, chat? Where, where is this spider right now? Is he in one of these hallways? I No, it doesn't look like it. There's a lot of hallways, but I don't see any spiders in these ones. Has he gone in th on one of these sides? No, no, wait, oh, no, that's my... <laughs> spiders can go invisible. Um, But when they're invisible, you can still see their eyes, usually. And so they're not truly invisible. They've got the invisibility effect. Honestly, the invisibility effect in Minecraft, like, kind of on purpose has to be. But it is kind of dumb. We can all agree, right? Okay, so there's an arrow here. Oh, that's something. Where is this all coming from? <laughs> Where's the spider? Is it an invisible spider chat? You know, we've, we've had invisible polar bear in our past. Are we about to enjoy invisible spider? Yeah, I think so. There's there's so many attacks coming from nowhere that it has to be the work of some being 
Where did, where is he though? <laughs> also, there's so many uh, pots in here now. Has to be said, but it's okay. I'm still looking around, as happy as I've ever been. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna conclude. There's an invisible spider somewhere. Invisible breeze. You know, one day we can dream of the invisible breeze. But for today, let's accept we can't find it. He's, he's around here somewhere. I can hear him. <laughs> okay, break some more pots. Check some more chests. I want this over spider eyes quite easily. Uh, look at these little corners. Look over here. Look over... Oh, here he is. Okay, I was looking up when I should have been looking down, chat. So he's got this fun potion effect on him. But now that he's dead, that spawner is done. A second ominous key, chat. That is good luck. There is a 30% chance of getting one of these per uh, ominous chamber you take down. So if you get two for free, yeah, not bad odds. But now for the moment of truth, my first time using one um, outside of my... I, I did use one in my video, but it was, wasn't true, legit, pure survival. You've seen me get here. 19 minutes in, I've used one of these. I got some diamonds, some emeralds, an iron block, and something else I didn't quite notice, actually. Oh, the flow armor trim, I think it was. So that's very nice if you ask me. Throw this on the ground, convert this into that. Now I've got a decent set of armor ready. I'm gonna put the ominous banners down somewhere. I mean, it's it's ominous in here, right? So I might as well make it look pretty ominous. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now I've got a second key that I have to activate. But no, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll take down regular spawners to get that. You have enough resources to do the trim. Oh, bearded man, you know what? You, you, you're, you're speaking sweet whispers into my ears, and I'm totally listening. Let's go for it. Let's, let's, let's make ourselves that trim. So I believe this is how you make a smithing table. Again, I kind of vaguely know the resources, but not as well as I probably should. And then I'm gonna make some armor. Uh, we do this, and then we do like this, <laughs> so we can do that, and then that. Oh, look at, look how smart I am. And now I can take my emeralds, which I'm otherwise never gonna use, and put the flow trim on my chest plate. Yeah, that's nice. What do you reckon, chat? Do you like this? I don't I don't think it looks that unique right now, but you know, maybe I picked a bad combination. Speaking of bad combinations, um, let's now go into the rest of the structure. Uh, this was just one room that's taken this much out of me. Let's see if the other rooms have anything fun too. So, baked potatoes, love that. Glowberries, love that. Bone meal, love that too. Little acacia planks here or there, also very lovely. But I'm here for, oh dear god, that's, so there is the trial bolt up there, by the way. Also, look, you can see my bad omen effect has lasted this long, my trial omen effect. Which means any spawners in here are getting upgraded, oh, in a way that I don't know how to deal with. To be totally honest with you, it's bad, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, they've got armor on, and they do not drop that, or they technically do drop the armor on killed. They're not meant to drop the armor on killed. It's a very bad time to be alive, chat, let me tell you that much. Okay, so we're just gonna shield up in here. And then occasionally do a little little spam hit here or there. Just really, really, really gonna try and get my best life lived right now. So we're gonna funnel them into one hole. Because from that hole, we can kill them pretty easily if they have not too much health. Okay, that is. But we can also make them attack each other, which is the biggest benefit, honestly. So full on, sweeping attacks. Let's, let's go. Eat some more bread. Ew, eat some more iron sword. Definitely not eat the iron sword. You know, actually... I feel like eating an iron sword. It's probably got a lot of your daily nutrients in it. They wouldn't they wouldn't advertise cereals as having iron in them. So this is one of the new effects, by the way, chat. When an enemy dies with that effect on, it will spawn cobwebs around, which is just insane, to say the least. I, I do have to say, I'm about to die. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide in this corner here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna shield up. I'm gonna let the enemies take each other out. I am very, oh, I'm poisoned. Where did that poison come from? So I am very close to dead right now, but it's okay. I am just gonna hang out right here in the good zone. Okay, eat real quick. And then there we go, we're back in. <laughs> How much durability does my shield have? Plenty. Let's go finish this guy off. And then let's go finish this guy off. <laughs> and here we go, diamond armor stray by the way. A terrifying sight, but a normal part of facing one of these structures. What a chaotic hellhole this is. My screen is so covered in stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna die. That's the good news. Bro, why are you so ha hyped about cobwebs being renewable? Um, I think lots of people get excited about things becoming renewable. Not just because it means the game is changing in a big way, but it means that they have a way to get those things in a repeatable manner. 
And who, who wouldn't be excited about that? So I'm just gonna put some stuff away. I'm gonna be honest, don't need all this stuff. Don't need it to take up. Why are these arrows in different slots? But we'll just put them in there. Oh, they, the arrows don't stack together. Very interesting. Um, I'm just gonna go pick up all this garbage and see if there's any more enemies. There is more enemies. Oh, a lot more enemies. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave you guys to fight your own battles. I'm just gonna walk out of this. I'm just gonna exist over here where it's nice, it's fine. And I'm gonna use up my entire bread supply. You don't realize when you're in combat, you go through so much more of everything, especially food, because you need to use it all to heal, but that's okay. Oh, by the way, I need to turn off those subtitles. These subtitles are insane. This is, there's too much happening. It's it's like absorbing my entire screen. I, I like subtitles as a concept, but I think, I think it's broken when you get to this level. So it's accessibility, show subtitles off. It's gonna make the game feel a bit better, I think. By the way, um, I, I want to say thank you to Block VR and also to uh, Toby Piggy. Um, do you know where the true mit? Toy Cat, base in the door that goes nowhere in the tree. Thanks for joining my realm. It's a cool idea for a base. That is maybe the best place for the base because it is the entrance room after all. It's what I would recommend entering the structure from. Maybe that's all they mean when they say entrance room. Honestly, maybe that's all they mean. So let's jump up. Let's see if we can't get... Ooh, a golden carrot. Love to see that, that's for sure. Um, put that down here and eat one of these. Oh, a second golden carrot. So yeah, we fought an ominous spawn up. We had all that armor and all that insanity. And all we got was two golden carrots from these. But we did get two ominous keys from these ones. So actually, you know what? I'm going to take my complaining back. That's actually a very, very good outcome. <laughs> I've gotten very lucky of these. But let's see what's inside, chat. Okay, will I get a heavy core? Try number two. Oh, let me, let me stack up maybe. Will I get a heavy core? Try number... To, yeah, how close do I have to get to this thing? Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Attempt number two, chat. Let's go. Oh, trim. Emeralds. Emerald block. And diamonds? I couldn't tell what that was. It was another flow armor trim, I think. Like the idea of flow armor trim. Don't really need it, though. Um, potion of regen. That's very, very handy. But the crossbow is not. I think I will put the crossbow down here and then also put the tough blocks down here so I can move maneuver around. That's a fairly decent... Uh, set of stuff, I guess. And we'll use our regular trial key here. As you can see, the regular trial keys have a chance of giving you... Oh, a trident now. That's nice. I like that. I do feel like it... Yeah, actually, I was going to say it defeats the point of the original way, but I don't think it does. I, I kind of... No one likes the way that you get a trident right now. It's kind of RNG. It's different between platforms. Having a trident in a trial chambers makes this a much more fun structure. Um... A trident should be ominous only. Yeah, I think that the trident definitely seems new, right, chat? I'm glad. I'm glad you're all as shocked as I am. Um, but that's nice. We're going to pick up some ender piles while we're here, too. And then we're going to venture into the rest of this structure. I think it's worth switching to bad omen 2 now, in case it gives me different outcomes. I'm not sure that it does, actually. So we'll, we'll, we'll stick with our existing things. And we'll go into here entirely ready for the challenge that comes ahead. So that's a vault, as you can see, because it's surrounded by copper. Whereas up here is not a vault, because it's... Oh, okay, it's an ominous spawner, though. So let's go. Lots and lots of spiders knocking me into the corner. Don't know why it's not working, but I'm just going to jump and spam, jump and spam, and jump and spam, and hope that I'm alive by the time this is over. Nope, I'm not going to be... Okay. Sit in a corner. Mine this block, please. Okay. I'm good. Life is good, chat. There's only an occasional cave spider that makes me think that that's not true. Honestly, they should be called trial, sp trial Spiders at this point. Trident is the unique weapon on normal and makes this for the upgraded trial. Yeah, I like that as a concept, that the uh, the Trident is like a... This is one of the more fun ways to get it, but it's not the only way. Uh, but the equivalent is the mace. I, I kind of like that. You're right. So eat the golden carrot because I'm very close to dead. Use the Trident a bunch because it's very powerful in Java. Have you ever seen how much damage this thing does in Java, chat? Um, it has a little bit of a buff in this update. It's, or, like, in my mind, compared to Bedrock. It's got nine damage, so my sword does six, and this trident does nine. It, against cave spiders, it seems like a no-brainer, because I'll be able to do one-hit KOs. And so that is exactly what I'm here for. Hey, steak. <laughs> not, not exactly what I wanted, but there, ominous key. So right now, we're getting far more ominous keys than we're getting the ability to actually do anything with them. Which is interesting. But yeah, the going for all of that and just getting food is the tiniest bit disheartening. But it's there so that you feel better when you get the stuff you actually want. And so for that, with that logic, I kind of like it. 
Will I get a heavy call though, chat? Okay, trim, wind charge, enchantment. I'm getting some. It's gonna be a mace enchantment, chat. It's gonna be mace. Wind burst. Yeah, wind burst is fun. It's dumb, but it's fun. I think it's only for memeing. I personally like maybe maybe I'll change my mind on that. But it's a it's a fun version of memeing. Too many ominous keys should lower the rates. Yeah, right now we're getting more keys than things, but that that could be random chance. Until we go through the structure, I think it'd be crazy to say anything about the rates with certainty, right? Like you can you can get a 1% chance 10 times. You could get a nat 20 on a you know on a dice, you know, 50 times in a row. It doesn't mean the dice is rigged, it means you had good luck. At a certain point, you can assume the dice is rigged. Uh, I guess the die. You know, I hate- I don't like that dice is the plural of dice. Like, everyone knows that a single dice is a dice. And anyone who disagrees with that, they just want you to die. That's what that is. So, yeah, let's, uh, I guess I have to drink the ominous effect now. Because I only want the ominous potion- uh, ominous spawners. And now we've drank in that, we get even more of these fellas, which I'm gonna one-hit KO of my trident. No, I'm not. I don't know why I'm not. I swear these guys have eight health. It must be eight health points, maybe. But they're not dying in one hit like my dreams. So, is there any point using this at all? Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, dying badly. Not good. Let's get away. Come back in. See if we can do any better. So, that is a spider. And he is defenseless. More or less. Oh, I am defenseless, more or less. <laughs> and we're going to eat again. You have to be Oh, potion of regen. So, if you do an ominous spawner, you might get effectively nothing. It seems like that is the more likely drop. But every now and then you get something. So, it's kind of that loot box effect. Which I know a lot of people don't like as an idea. But you can't deny that it's how a lot of games were built before loot boxes. Loot boxes were just using the, oh, I'm going to die. I'm, I'm, what did I do here, chat? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. Um, okay, I was going to make some lights myself, but that's not working too well. Let's just do that. And I think they can climb out this hole because it's one by one, but only one at a time. So, yeah, there we go. Is this sharpness? It's smite. So useful for skeletons, I guess. Um, run back in there. Make sure we eat as soon as we can. And we're good. Fill the empty spot with bricks, please. <laughs> what would I... Okay, you know what? Just for you, we'll make some bricks. They're very pretty. Uh, and Johnny Asp... Asp I miss you. Johnny Aspauga fan. Um, I'll do it for you. Let's, let's make... A bunch of bricks. Twelve of them, in fact. So now we're back out here. Uh, I hit some enemies, but I'm sure it's just the spiders in this room. Let's finish them up. And let's move on to the next place. So yeah, the cave spider spawners are the easiest ones to do in ominous mode. It's, it's only a few potion effects that don't even really change too much. It's definitely... It's, it's something I think could be doing with a rebalance, personally. I guess I'm going to shield. And I'm going to attack. And then I'm going to shield. And then I'm going to attack. And I'm going to eat over here. And I'm going to shield immediately afterwards. And then we're going to attack. Okay. Come on. Just let me let me finish you, <laughs> internet. Uh, spiders. Okay. Oh. Glad that won't be taken out of context. Okay. So, now we have just a couple of spiders left. We don't have the rewards, which tells me there are some spiders hanging around somewhere. And it's my job to find them. Where be the spiders? Any over here? It is very interesting that you have to hunt. Okay, he's, he's going to be up there somewhere, right? He's going to be nearby me. Is it you? It's there's there's a guy who's launching potions, so you'll know when you see him because he has that potion bubble on him. He's going to be up here, up there, up everywhere. <laughs> it's so honestly. Oh, we got another one of these ominous keys again. Very good luck, or maybe broken. I'm not going to judge for sure until we get better results. And then here's the last spider. So, what are you going to give me? Oh, another key. Yeah, we're getting well over 50% keys. Very pleased with my luck. If it is luck and not, you know, bad. Uh, oh, it could be they just they, they thought the statistics were different than they were. I'm not sure. All I know is I've got four keys, chat. I felt like these were meant to be really rare, but I'm just like... The, the biggest limiting factor for me is the spawners, which I have now gone through entirely. In fact, I don't think I need to use this ominous effect anymore. Yeah, let's just, let's run around, specifically just grab the ominous spawners. See if we can't get a heavy mace. We're having to do any of that annoying fighting we'd otherwise have to do. So let's go. Ooh. In case you're curious as to why the heavy mace is my goal here. 
I think this is the big and like the big thing that a lot of people want from this structure. So it's what a lot of people go into this structure with in mind. Which is why I think makes it perfect for uh, you know, this little test we're doing right here. And maybe you agree. If you like these tests, by the way, and oh, whoa, that's such a cool location. Wow, I love the way these things are hidden. This is such a cool. I love this. This is such a cool little part of the structure chat. I'm so excited to open it. Now I'm going to go into this chest for my diamond and a cake. Wow, everything's gotten better today. And I've also got a diamond axe. So let's pick it up. A couple deep slate. Don't need the banner pattern. Don't need the slowness arrows, although it's fun. They're slowness four. Uh, cobblestone. That. That. Diamond axe. Perfect. Throw this on the ground. And now I am very, very well prepared. This is my favorite structure, to be honest. Yeah, I think a lot of people have complaints like, oh, is it only the trial chambers in this update? It's such a cool structure. I, I, you know, part of me says like, yeah, back in the old days, Mojang would add a structure as well as everything else. But this structure has so much more thought and effort put into it, in my opinion, that I don't think it's a fair comparison. I mean, it, may, maybe you can argue it is, and I, I, I don't think it would be a reasonable point to make. But, um, yeah, I think the idea is this is like... By putting all this time into an update, they really tried to get it right. Okay, just gonna swing the axe and hopefully hit the axe. This is a stray spawner, so we wanna kill these guys. I basically don't need to, but it is very satisfying. Oh, over here. Honestly, this axe is OP. Look at this. We get two good hits, and everything else is gone. It's lovely. I love to see it. So that is a baked potato. Oh, yeah, five baked potatoes now. I am... <laughs> You know, if this was a race for the baked potato, I'd be killing it, chat. Sadly, it is not, and I've got other things I've got to do. So, the there is the ominous spawner here. This is my first breeze spawn, actually. I wouldn't have been able to craft it without this room anyway, so I guess I'm glad this has happened. I guess I'm just going to jump down there. And so, okay, well, there goes my strategy entirely. <laughs> okay, so we're going to finish off the breeze first. He's got a lot of, a lot of uh, plans for me. And then we're going to finish off. Uh, you know, actually, yeah, the breeze is definitely target number one. There's only two of him. Although I've never done an ominous breeze spawner. This must be my first time. I wonder how it's going to go, actually. So I'm just going to unlock this while I'm here anyway, right? See what we get. If it's useful, we'll go get it. If it's not, I won't. And, uh, yeah, just kind of float around the place gently. <laughs> Got my breeze rods. Wonderful. Okay, did I get a heavy core from that? That's the question. Okay. I don't know. All I know is that this is <laughs> nightmarish to do of slow falling. Like getting knocked into the air and then having slow falling on the way down is actually a very big downside as it so turns out. Okay, do you see a heavy call there, chat? I see diamonds. I see a potion. I'm not sure I see a heavy call though, so we might not have to care. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's an enchanted crossbow. Who doesn't like an enchanted crossbow? But everything else is pretty cool. Okay. Let me out of this wild ride that I have put myself onto. Okay, just come here. Perfect. One. Okay, he's dead. He's going to be some diamond armor for me. And maybe some iron as well. Perfect. So that is the ominous breeze spawner. I don't think it did go ominous, chat. I don't think there is an ominous version of that, which is quite intriguing if you say it out loud. Um, and yeah, two stake. It's, it's nice to add to the collection, I guess. So... I'm going to go back in to get this. <laughs> Let's do it. So now we want to eat and then switch out for steak. Lovely food. Much better than bread, that's for sure. There's a reason that the, you know, I, I think this should be a thing. You know how there's steakhouses, chat? I think that bread is one of the best foods and there's so many fun variants of it. I would love to go to a bread house. Like every fancy restaurant already has, or even not even every fancy restaurant, every semi-fancy restaurant already has like very good bread as like, the cornerstone of why you want to go there. Why don't we just go a step further and uh, make make it happen for real? Okay, so don't forget about the auto crafter too. Yeah, that's a good point actually. Um, the auto crafter is a nice little element of this. I I really think it's one of those features that I'm going to use in like one build. It's not going to revolutionize an update for me though, um, which is a shame, but it is the reality of the world that we live in. Okay. So, lots more ominous skeletons. I'm gonna murder you, and then come after you, and you're dead. 
Then I'm going to get rid of this crossbow because I've got an enchanted one. And breaking is not great, but it's not terrible either. And we're just going to shoot him. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice having a jewel, I guess. And now take you down too. Um, yeah, right, well, will the ominous bottle ruin raid farms? Yeah, that is... I don't... They haven't stated it's one of their intentions, but it is one of the side effects of what happens here. I think it's worthwhile because now if you want to get totems, you go to the trial chamber. Like, I think it works personally, but I could see why people would say, oh, but I liked it the way that I used to be able to do. You know, Minecraft boomers is a phrase we've been talking about recently, but there are some real truths to it. Okay. So let's see if we can get up over there. I did a big mistake doing that, but it's fine. Stack a block. Stack, stack, stack my way all the way to the top. Hope that there's no skeleton here. And I get a baked potato for all of that work. Lovely. Okay, so I think I'm running out of ominous spawners in this trial chamber. Um, uh, but I didn't get a single ominous thing from all of this chat, which is quite interesting in my opinion. Uh, we'll break all these spawners just in case we get something. I doubt there's a chance of getting an ominous key from one of these, but it'd be so good if there was, right? Be so good. Uh, grab a few more torches, because they're always useful. Put a stick and some arrows away. And some two cobblestone. And let's try and see if there's anything more to this. I thought they would nerf the mace, but they made it even more overpowered. Yeah, I love that. That's an absolute power play from Mojang. Or oh, some people, you know, some, some wet blankets thought that we should nerf this weapon because it's too good in people's single player worlds. And so you know what we did? We made it more powerful. How you like that? <laughs> and the answer is I really like that, actually. So there's nothing over here. I don't know why I jumped about looking first. And I think that might be the entire trial chamber that I've cleared out now. I'm not 100% sure. I bet there's more cool ways to go down. Also, oh, there's no... There's a secret room back there, chat. Do you see this? Oh, and there's a vault in the... See, that feeling of discovery is so cool. That is the best. That is legitimately the best thing. Chat, have you ever felt something that good? You know, uh, you know, to be, not to be a meme here or anything, um, but you know, you, you might think that, you know, like uh, someone, someone you like saying something special about you is good. But wait until you find something for the first time uh, in a in a trial spawner. Boy, is that so much better. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly check if everything's going good on the video front. Hello, everyone. By the way, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and I have a ominous trial key. I'm going to use in this ominous spawner. Oh, wind charge. Wind charge. Iron block. That's all. So, yeah, the odds still aren't massively in your favor, chat. If you think they are, you are mistaken. You can get a lot more diamonds now, but you have to fight on hard mode effectively. But one trial chamber is not enough to guarantee the mace, which I kind of thought they would do. I, you know, imagine someone tells you, like, if you're looking for a mace, you're like, how do you get one? And you talk about it on the playground, you're like, oh yeah, well, I mean, what I would do is I would, uh, obviously, I, I, you go to a trial chamber and you gotta fight it. And so someone goes home and they do that, and they're like, I didn't find it. And you're like, oh, RNG. I guess really it's on the person telling them in the playground to tell them a better story. But uh, there is still a bit of truth to that, right? So yeah, I think we've gone through the entire structure now, chat. I could be wrong, but we've done this entire structure, and it has not led me... To salvation as much as I would like it to um, yep that's the end of everything so now we have to go to a different trial chamber and get more keys we've got two minutes actually so we better find the last spawn as we can in here I think there was some I ignored in that other room earlier we're gonna go there just in case again what does RNG mean so RNG is short for random number generator um, it's a way of describing randomness in video games. Because randomness in real life is something we use to refer to all sorts of different things. Like true random versus not. Whereas random in video games is literally... There is something in your computer that makes a one and... You know, like rolls a dice effectively. And decides, do you get this thing that you really want or do you not? But I'm going to potion of strength with this diamond axe and see how they stack together. Uh, I imagine quite well, especially with smite on here. <laughs> oh yeah. Especially with smite on here. This is nice. Uh, there could be another ominous spawner here, but I'm, I'm guessing there won't be. Uh, there are more skeletons. Oh, oh, here we go. Not a one-hit KO, but close enough. Even with all that armor on, just still tore right through him. And then is there another guy down here? Yes, there is. <laughs> love when that happens. Love when an enemy 
knocks you into them. And that is presumably the room done. So make some more bricks to get ourselves through this. It is a very pretty block, block to take advantage of here. And we get a regen potion. And so that is the end of this one, chat. That is as far as we can get with the gear that we have. However, because we got our first trial chamber taken down in 16 minutes, if we just wait a few minutes, we can... Oh, there's a strength potion here too. If we wait a few minutes, we could theoretically take them all down again, then try and get the ominous effect and get some more keys. But we need a new trial spawner regardless of how that's going to work. And so what are we going to do? I'm glad that you ask. You got as many keys as you used. Yeah, HHFF, that makes it seem pretty good but i might argue that it's still a little bit unbalanced because you it feels like you are meant to do multiple runs through of this chat i did a irresponsible thing today i woke up feeling pretty sick and so i, I didn't have an appetite at breakfast but I've, I've been meaning to go over pizza hut for a while anyway they've got a buffet you eat as much pizza as you want and so i figured you know if i'm not feeling hungry perfect time to go to that and I didn't eat much pizza there. But my whole body has been hurting ever since. And it won't stop me from eating more pizza in copious quantities in the future. I'd love to tell you it would chat. So, um, yeah, I, I, I know for a fact there's nothing behind here. But I am curious as to if there's meant to be any significance here. Or if it's just a really pretty lit up thing. Also, do you think this is a silverfish chat? I want to know. Silverfish or spider? Because uh, apparently... 50% of people think Herobrine, 50% of people think Bogged on the other one. Okay, it won by 1% lol. Yeah, 50 versus 49, very common outcome. Where did the 1% go? Third party, obviously. Um, now we're going to go to a trial chamber, which is at 192-160, chat. So 192-160, that's where we have to go. Um, and we're going to have to fight it until we get ominous uh, you know, potions. And then use those to take on the trial chambers a second time. As you can see, though, actually, we could now already fight this one. 192-160. Thank you very much, Kat. Appreciate you filling in for Dasher as the coordinate queen. Um, oh, we got another pole. Lovely. Uh, that's fun. I'm glad we have it. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm happy we have it. Um, oh, yeah. My legs just feel like they're missing something. I don't think I can... Okay, we got, we got a windy boy. Oh, you see a breeze in that? Oh, I can see a breeze now that you say it. Yeah, I, I see. I see a windy boy. I I see a very windy boy now. Now that you say it out loud, I feel silly for thinking it was anything but a windy boy. But I'll just pretend that I didn't think that. You know, this is what you do with opinions when you when you grow and change. You pretend you haven't, and you silence anyone who says that you have. It's just how the world works. Now I've, I've I've learned. The legit way. Also, by the way, taking down one of these spawners gives you this amount of experience. I'm level 22 already. I've had a pretty fun first 40 minutes of the world. I think if I left right now and then just started playing Minecraft normally, I wouldn't I wouldn't hate that. I think I would enjoy that quite a lot, actually. Although I don't like getting baked potatoes. So, um... Stop spam clipping. You can't hit more than four times per second with your hand. Just another YouTube commenter. I know, but also I, I can't I can't stop. What do you want me to do? What can I do? The answer is nothing but keep on doing the same wrong thing over and over again. Okay, so we are going to have to be tactical about the blocks I use to get out of this. I think I could probably slice this tree into bits and then use it as slabs. And then 32 slabs will get me most of the way to the surface. But still not all the way. So I think I'm going to have to break a lot of pots, make some brick blocks, and use those as slabs too. In fact, breaking the pots is a good idea anyway. So... 16 slabs becomes 30, oh, I can't, becomes 30 of these, wonderful. Then we're going to walk around, just break the very last pots. It's interesting, every time I think I'm clearing out all the pots, I'm actually not. Make sure I'm picking up the bricks, actually. So, oh, sapling, arrow, bricks, perfect. Then do a lovely little walk around, and we're good. So, you can make copper slabs. Yeah, the... I know I could make copper slabs, but it just feels like more time consuming. But it's not more more time consuming than just going around breaking pots. I think there's this logic of you don't want to do a bad solution. So you look for less bad solutions. And you don't compare those less bad solutions against the one that was pretty bad. Because you're like, well, it can't be as bad as that. But actually, it can be. So I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe 
And then I'm going to mine some copper, and I'm just going to make copper slabs. Get out that way. I think that's as good as I can do. Um, so, yeah, we'll get some food when we're on the surface. And remove some bows now that we're down here. We'll see if we can't walk past those. Get some sticks. I don't have any sticks. Whoopsie. There goes my diamond pickaxe streams. <laughs> I had sticks earlier, if you recall. But I, uh, you know, I, I dropped them somewhere. I don't know where. Hey, thank you. I've had a horrible week. I'm gonna drink tonight to your videos. The video you made about breakups really helped me, but also made my situation worse. I oh. man. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Um, I um, I think I I I wanted to be the opposite person on your shoulder for that video, to say, oh yeah, um, like a lot of people took that video kind of the wrong way, but it was like sometimes you go through a lot and you're like, I don't know you. When, when it's clear that it's over, you rarely are like, oh, I'm really glad I spent an extra X amount of time doing that to myself. Um, I think it's important to try if you're in a relationship that you think is failing. Um, I think that goes without saying. But, you know, if you thought you had something, you shouldn't break up over something. Uh, you've, you, I, but I, you know, also, that is that is the sadness effect of, like, you will, the, the sadness of what comes will stop you from doing a thing that you might know to be better for you. I don't know if it is better for you because I don't know you. Uh, but I do know that I hope you're having a wonderful time. And I... Then <laughs> um, you put some in the entrance room chest. Okay. So now we use the diamond pickaxe to mine some copper. And I'm going to quickly turn it into some stuff. And then we'll be great. Sadness status effect. Sadness status effect indeed. Um... I get what you mean now. It was confused at first. Water bucket out. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, actually. It's Java. We can do that. Oh, I love that idea. Okay, so we'll make the slabs anyway. Oh, you can't... They're waxed. <sighs> okay. So we'll just take the water bucket. And we'll see if that is actually more effective. So it's a bit dark up there. So to prevent that darkness, I'll sleep down here. And we'll get ourselves out. I think the timer is broken, Toycat. Oh, you're right. Why did it stop? <laughs> <laughs> that is very interesting. Yeah, it, pa it paused itself at some point. Um, so I have to go look at my own stream to work out how long we've been going on for. 52 minutes and 5 seconds. Okay, so we'll just up it to 51 and make the guess that that's right. Um, but yeah, we, we, we're doing just fine. I've got, a, I've got my MS Paint open still. Okay, so here I am. I think the Toy Cat is timer. I left my boyfriend three years ago, about six months ago. I realized I only stayed because I was used to it. I appreciate your video. I've got to build a shed, but have a good stream, Toy Cat. Hope you enjoy building the shed. I hope it's not a bad shed that you built. I hope it's a shed of joy and aspiration that you're currently working yourself into. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that people will do that they don't logically agree with. Oh, let me, let me out, please. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to place a block below myself just to prevent that from happening again. And now we can scoop up, and then jump up, and scoop up. This is this is so handy, chat. But it's still... It's still less effective than just having the right blocks. And so what we'll do is I'll go down here. And I'll try and stack out with the resources I've got. And then we can finish up... We can finish up using the water buckets when it comes to it. Do enchantment tutorial for the mace, says uh, Ella Hamahadi Khadija. Oh, yeah, the, the new enchantments are so cool. I definitely want to... Um, one of the things we did last update that a lot of people liked was the uh, quick guides for everything. So, like, four minutes, uh, you know, tutorials for, like, something major. Um, they're really good because a lot of people can learn about something. They might have just, like... It might have escaped them or it was explained a while ago. And, like, you know, it doesn't, people feel, like, silly for, like, having to re-ask something that's already been explained. But it was really good for a lot of that stuff. Um, okay, up to the top now. This is a bit of a pain to get out. I might have been faster just tunneling, honestly. But here we are. Let's go to one... We're going to negative on the Z. That's all I know. We'll work out the rest later. Um, hey, Toy Cat. Thanks you so much for updating me on Minecraft news because you got me back into it and I'm making a map for Minecraft Bedrock for free that people can uh, uh, get. It's like from the fog. Oh, cool idea. I love when people are inspired to do cool stuff in Minecraft. Like that feeling is such a cool one. You should cherish it. 
I'd say while you can, but that sounds ominous. But like, cherish that feeling. It's one of the cool things that humans can do. Creating something, even if it's under the like vague notion that someone else will enjoy it. But if you make something, you know, people enjoy it. That's good, you know. So let's make a boat. Um, let's get into the boat. And let's boat along the water. The ultimate guides were very good too, says Bearded Man. Yeah, I, I, I think the ultimate guide was a lot of fun. I think the plan is to do some more. Um, the, the, the spacing will probably be between here and the end. Um, or the start of June. I think there's a lot of things that, like, would make sense to talk about in that way. And so we'll do precisely that. Ooh, ooh, have a good day. Toy Cat is God. Toy Cat is life. <laughs> Thank you. You too, F Choppin. Um, so now we're going to 192, 160. So 160 is... 192 is this way. 160 is over there. And we're going to dig down from those coordinates. And we're going to find a second trial chamber. Uh, what are the four new potion types? Oh, man. you When you see the new potion types, you'll, you'll have some feelings. Um... They're mostly designed for mobs. Only a couple of them can even benefit players. It's a interesting thing. I don't think we've really seen before. 192, 160. By the way, isn't this a mess? This is what I have to do to show my coordinates, chat. You get to see my processor. You get to see what I'm looking at. You get to see my memory allocation. You get to see the biome we're in and the block and the local difficulty. <laughs> There's the day counter, which is fun. Um, okay, so we're a little bit too far this way. We're going to go that way instead. Oh, no. 192, 160 is underwater. So we'll dig down and we'll find it underground. Uh, leave your crafting table behind like a pro. Exactly. That's that's what all good pros do. How often do you even need to craft, chat? Name one opportunity where you need to craft in Minecraft. I bet you can't. Hey. Thank you, F-Choppin. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it's the moments I appreciate being on Bedrock, says Ryan. <laughs> yeah. I... I think it's weird because Java players really do think it's normal. They're like, yeah, this is how you see coordinates. I, <laughs> And it is kind of useful because you can learn the rest of it. But like, there's a lot of it that feels like you're not meant to learn it. Like That's not information that's meant to be privy to you. Uh, it just kind of is anyway. So 192 is closer this way. And 160 is closer this way. So we're going to dig in a diagonal line, sort of going downwards. And it's hopefully going to intersect with the trail chamber. Is that a good plan? Hopefully. Really, we really do hope so. If it's not a good plan, then I'm going to pretend it wasn't my idea. Try to say Easter in Danish. Use the mobile. Um, are you saying, like, type Easter to, in Danish in my phone? I, I I, would love to do it. Can you can you tell me what it is? Um, I, uh, would you be interested in get a cool Minecraft add-on early? Honestly, my, my most recent add-on experience made me go, oh... <laughs> I, uh, I played around a lot more of the OP house chat, and it just gets worse and worse, and then a little bit worse too. However, it is a debug screen, so it's expected to be complicated. It isn't just a coordinate screen. That's exactly what I mean, yeah. The the overcomplication occurs because people use a screen that is meant for one thing, but for a different thing. So I'm at 192. I just got to go this way now. So in this direction, more or less, with the occasional block going down, and then we'll find the trial chamber. I think we're still going to be a little bit lower than we are right now. Speaking of lower than we are. Try to say the Easter in English. <laughs> Thank you, David Solomano. Okay, I'm going to try my best. Just for you. Easter. No, no, that's that's not English. Um, Easter. No, no, still not English. I'll get there eventually. You know what? This challenge I'll dedicate myself to. Thank you, David. Hope you're having a wonderful evening yourself. I, um, like I said, I, I've had a bit of a weird day. But I got level 30 farming in RuneScape. So I can now plant, you know, willow trees whenever I want to. So, I mean, is it all so bad? <laughs> Close. <laughs> I'll, tr I'll, I'll try my... I'll, I'll get there eventually, chat. I'll work out how to say Easter in English. Okay, so... The lack, if anything, is a little worrying. We're at minus 18. So I think we do just have to start digging in a formation to find something. But if we, if we just go in a straight line long enough, it will eventually have a good outcome. I am sure. I shouldn't be so sure, but I feel sure anyway. You say E star says Dante's music. Okay, so let me, let me try this chat. So E star, that's how you say it in English. Ah, E star. Who's excited to celebrate some E star with me, chat? You know, I, I don't like the D star. 
I, I, I don't want a B star. I just, I just want the, oh, wow, it was that. See, I knew that I was right near it, chat, but I was just digging in the wrong direction. As you always are, whenever you're looking for something, you're never going to get it the first time. It's just the rule of the universe. So now we'll empty that, put it on the ground. Probably pick up a bunch of cobble deep slate, actually. It might actually be useful for this place. And then let's jump in. So, will I remember this is how I came in? Probably not. Let's dig a big tunnel. Well, a hole in it. There we go. It makes it nice and visible. Place a block there, and then a block over here. And welcome to the second trial chamber that we're in today. Ch oh, the timer. Has it really only been six minutes since I left the other one? Whenever I go up to the surface, it feels like it takes me a year. My time perception Here, is so broken. Use this to get some paracetamol, or an exorcism, or whatever we you might be needing, toy cat. Hope your Thank whole you. body stops hurting soon. Heart. Um. So first of all, thank you. Uh, but not only for the money, you know, I I am very. I I've tried to speak to other people about this, by the way. Like, are there people? I feel like you know, like stereotypically, you'd say it's like a gold digger thing to be like, yeah, money is my love language. But it really, I I feel like I chat. It, do you feel like that describes you? Like, you know, there are lots of things that people can do that, like, seem nice, but, like, you know, they're, like, they, they're only surface deep. Uh, but really, the thing that has no limits, the thing that you think is the creme de la creme, is, like, people using some of their finite resources to do something nice for you. I think it's good that most of the world doesn't use that as a system. I think it's good there are many other systems of showing love. That, and I'm really happy that people grow up in an environment where those are not the most important things for them. But, uh, yeah, it's the same thing with, like, um, I had, um, okay, I, I've had this happen twice in my life now, chat. I had a friend, um, arrange to meet me, and, uh, so we, we were arranging to meet in Birmingham. I think I lived in, you know, like, more enough, less London. They lived in Manchester. So we were going to meet halfway in Birmingham. If you know UK geography, it's in between those cities. And so, um, we agreed the night before it was all good. I messaged him in the morning. I, what I like to do is I like to double check. I messaged him in the morning to, like, double-check. I didn't get a response, and I was like, well, I'm not going to not go. Like, <laughs> it's, uh, that, that would be insanity. And so, I do decide to. Oh, here's the breeze. Hello, breeze. How's it going? And so, uh, I go to Birmingham, and then after I've been there for a bit, kind of waiting around, like, kind of concluding he's not going to be there, I get a message being like, sorry, I couldn't make it, man. And it's like, you know, the mistake isn't not making it. The mistake is in feeling so bad about not making it that you made not making it worse. Right? Like, uh... By not making it and not telling me, I had to get a train ticket to Birmingham. Birmingham, chat. Can you imagine the horrors um, that I had to see? But, uh, yeah, the... So, two times I've had... Like, I've had that happen twice, more or less. Once was, like, shorter distances. And both times, weirdly... I, I think I've had it happen other times where, like, people just, like, make excuses and, like, you know, kind of be like, Oh, yeah, I'm I'm right around the corner. And they say that for an hour. They're like, yeah, I'm almost there. Like, But I've had that... um. I've had that interaction a couple of times. And one of the times someone was like, I'll pay for your train ticket. I'll make sure that this is, you know, that you're all good. Like, this was my mistake that you spent money. And that was like a... That felt like a real actually looking at what issues can be and how you can fix them versus just saying sorry. You know, saying sorry uh, only has so far that it can go, right? It's uh, it's nice to hear that someone has admitted their guilt. Oh, also, whoa, look at this. Is this a spider or a redstone golem, chat? Tell me your guess. Is this a... Is the, the bogged or the hero brine is still here? I have a friend like that. She's perpetually late slash forgets. Yeah, and I I do believe that after a certain amount of time, you know, if you say, this is on me, I will, I will make you financially and emotionally right. That's admitting that there are finite resources in the world, time and money, namely, that you will make me okay for. Um, <laughs> maybe that's like a... Maybe that's actually like a serial killer thing. Like, why would... But I, to me, the offer is what shows uh, at least some compassion. There's a, you know, like, I, th I think in both times, the people just said it as a way to, like, let themselves off the hook. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> a throwaway joke. I don't have any arrows left, chat. So I'm going to die now. Um, I'm just going to shield. Come on, shoot at me. Does he not shoot while the shield is up? That's so clever if so, but also very annoying if so. Okay, go. Run away. We're good. And then get back in there. Oh, please don't do this to me. I don't, I don't deserve what you're doing to me over here, friend. Um, but yeah, the, I think the, everyone has like forms of communication that are more effective to them. Like the stereotype that people like poetry, I think, you know, like, oh yes, please write me a poem. 
It's like kind of dumb, but the logic is like, yes, yeah, spend some time thinking about me. A lot of people love the idea of people. They love the idea that people are thinking about them even while they're not. Because you have to think about people while they're in the same room as you. That's objective. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't know about your the situations you are all race chat, so I'm sorry if that's a if that's a triggering uh, moment for anyone. But you usually have to pay attention to the people who are in a room with you very directly. Please give me a bad omen, an ominous potion, chat. Uh, not chat. You know, actually, chat. Give me an ominous potion. You know, if you if you love me, chat. That's what you do. I've got eight, nine trial keys now. So I'm hoping I'm hoping some of these will turn into something good. Froze arrows away. Why don't I have arrows? Says our alt. Yes, exactly. You understand. Also, our alt and then the communist logo. Funny, funny. I appreciate your, I appreciate your YouTube username, uh, combination. So um, I'm sending you one right now. Yeah, I think there's a. Uh, I think that there are lots of ways that you can show you're thinking about someone, and one of those is to like know what someone's problems are and to try and solve them. Um, but yeah, I think a... Okay, so we got Unbreaking 2 and Efficiency 2. Oh, no, I thought this was Smite, by the way. I was so sure it was Smite. I just... I felt like I was doing too much damage to those people. Apparently didn't work that way. So, um... Yeah, well, that said, we... You didn't... Uh, you forgot the other spawner. Yeah, apparently so. There's also... Have you ever seen a room hit? Whoa, chat! No, no, I'm crazy. I'm, I'm so insane. Don't, ignore me. You didn't hear me say anything. The last words I said was, isn't that crazy? You didn't hear anything after that chat. We all agree? Okay, we're good. So put this on there, and then combine these two shields. Make a better one. Take the honey bottles, maybe? Take the arrows, and dump the string, dump the wax blocks. And I've got to use these wind charges at some point. I don't know how, but I really want to. So I'll throw this on the ground. And then... I'll drink this before my next encounter. It's 45 seconds, so it should last. Oh, there's another key over there, by the way. Wow. Nine keys. What am I meant to do with that? Um, but yeah, nine keys should be great. Yeah, everyone has a, a way which they feel cared about. And it's a really valuable lesson for the world, because the, the lesson you learn as, like, a five or ten-year-old is that you should treat others how you want to be treated yourself. And it's a mind-blowing one for a lot of people because they're like, whoa, other people are people too. The way that people treat me that makes me feel bad is what I can do to other people if I treat them badly. Whoa, I didn't realize, you know, like that's a, it's a revelation to a, to a certain age of person. And in the same way, uh, the revelation that you have somewhere in your, uh, somewhere in your later life, uh, maybe you never have it in some people's cases, is that other people don't want to be treated the same way that you do. Everyone wants to be treated slightly differently. Everyone has a, a different meaning of what good treatment is. And if you care about that, it's something you can do. I don't want to deal with this chat, so I'm just not going to. I, that's that's not my problem. <laughs> I'm not qualified It'll in plumbing. take your advice. I think I'm going to stay. You always have an interesting vibe on <laughs> things. I respect the way you think. I, okay, so I will say staying is the riskier option. This is, I know this is like, okay, so the, here's the actual advice. Do whatever you want. Don't trust a stranger on the internet to guide your relationship decisions. I have no idea what's happening with you and any loved people in your life. So you shouldn't take my advice as if I do know. But what I can say... What do you think we'll find if we go through here? What I can say is statistically more... Like, a, a new relationship has what? Like a 90% chance of failure? But a relationship that gets back together after failing? I want to say it's even higher. Um... Like, there are lots of relationships that go through something hard, and they come through stronger. They come back uh, better and more than everything else. Also, thank you so much um, for gifting the channel membership. Tracy Galetta. Do, 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 do. Have I mentioned I've listened to this song so much at this point? It's like the, it's the IBX Toy Cat channel join sound. Probably some downsides to that. In the long run. But I, I like it how it is. So, yeah, we've been through this entire thing. I don't think we've been to this room. So we'll give it a try. Um, yeah, this, this room's not going to have a lot of keys for me. So I'm going to go back to the room with all of the vaults. I'm just going to use the vaults without killing the enemies. And we're going to hope that that leads to good things. So, potion of regens, I love them, but I'm not using them enough. Um, Slow, I love it, but I'm not using it. Same with bones, same with... This goat horn, I want to use at least once before the stream's over. So let's do it. Hello, my BX Toy Cat, and... Oh. <laughs> that was very mild. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that I'm throwing this one away. 
There we go. We got plenty of space, and we're gonna need plenty of space where I'm going. Because it's to use all these trial keys to try and get an ominous potion to do more ominous raiding chat. Will it work for me? I don't know. I just have to believe in something, you know? Also, thank you, Tracy Glesser. I absolutely love the... Oh, see, it's... They're so... I won't, I won't say well-hidden chat. You can find them if you're looking for them. But it feels like you're uncovering something when you go there. Uh, pig Step Song's getting annoying now, so it's Cheesy Feet 2. There's only one way to change the Pig Step Song. And it's by popular vote, chat. Okay, so nice. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's an improvement. I like that. It's a waste of my flow trim. But sometimes you got to waste things to do good things. Uh, I'm not sure if you mentioned why, but you haven't been updating your membership number, says Emily. Uh, we don't do it for gifted memberships, uh, Emily. It's a... Uh, it's a, it may be a confusing rule. But gifted memberships immediately un... Like, when you become a member via gift, because your payment information isn't on there, and obviously it'd be absurd if it was, um, it immediately makes you a member and then unsubscribes you as a member. And so we could add it... We could say that the number goes up and then remove it 30 days later. But that's a lot more complex than just saying, like, well, it's it's nice. I really appreciate gifted members. People still get access content. I still get, you know, like, uh, I think it's a 70% share or whatever, the YouTube revenue for it. It's very good. I'm, I'm a big fan of anyone who does it. But also, uh, it doesn't affect our, like, membership total, i.e. for things like, you know, like, because the, the, the point of the subscription is meant to be, like, that it helps with ongoing costs of all of the things related to being a human and streaming. Hope that helps you. I, I feel like talking about money will always make... It, it's weird. I, I, I'm one of the... I try to be one of the most open people when talking about money. But some people just don't like it as a conversation. And I kind of get why. But I also think it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, at the same time, there's a lot of bad things that can happen from people not wanting to share. Um, you know, like, I know the idea... Like, two people doing the same job getting paid different amounts. Um, like, it, it increases your negotiating power as employees. Uh, when you share what you get paid. Um, I encourage my employees to do it. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, like, there are, unless, unless there are some really good extenuating reasons, I think some of those would be, like, I don't know, costs of visa or, like, I don't know, like, in other perks that, like, you might make, pe make people feel jealous in exchange for compensation. Hey, we got one! Okay. So now, chat, I'm going back through this whole place, but we're bad omen, and we're gonna try and get this vault. Okay, it's gonna be great. Oh, but yeah, so um, I think it's good to encourage wage transparency. Ooh, so let's turn these into super silverfish right now. Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's let's fight. I'm ready. If you're ready, I'm ready, fellas. So this is the easiest fight I've ever seen, <laughs> honestly. Um, it feels a little too easy. It feels it feels unfair that I'm gonna get a very powerful reward out of this. When I'm just fighting silverfish as they vaguely come in my direction. <laughs> but I'll take it when I take it. Um, oh, we got a potato. Well, I guess I can't say that it's OP if it's going to give me a potato as a reward. <laughs> um, okay, so there's still a lot of silverfish. So I don't know where these guys came from. I guess the infested blocks below the spawner don't count towards the spawner being finished. Simple as this. We are good to go. And then we're going to go back to the room with all of the vaults, I think, next. Okay. Ooh, okay. Please die. Uh, we're going to go back to the room of all the flows. Also, here it is. Oh, nice. And we're going to use the regular vault back there, just in case it's got something for me. Honey bottle. Iron. Iron X. I'll take it, and then throw away the Iron X. Uh, check the box. Get some more tough. Get some more torches. You never know. And we're good. Oh, okay. So, we need to get this. Oh, don't do this to me. I, I hate how the... <laughs> oh, the, the, I'm going to die, chat. This this is the situation I was not prepared for. Doing a uh, an ominous... I can't say the word ominous now. It doesn't feel real. But doing one of these upgraded spawners with bolts is just not okay. Doing this on Java, doing it... Oh, no. Please please don't kill me. <laughs> um, yeah, it just doesn't feel good. But I think we did it pretty easily. And we got some rotten flesh. Oh, thank God. Look at that loot drop. Really, really brought me back from the brink of doom. Also, I think we just got the strength potion. Yeah. The game gave me strength to help me fight the enemies that I was struggling with. Very kind of it, if I do say so myself. We're going to go up here and we're going to find a different room. Oh, no, it's a dead end. <laughs> it's nice that it exists. You need so much milk. Yeah, I mean, calcium's pretty good for you. That is true. I shouldn't. I, we shouldn't be denying that. 
interesting. But yeah, chat, one of the interesting things about this snapshot is it's the last... This is the last feature, the ominous uh, change. Is the last feature that Mojang says they're making for uh, this update. That is a very big reveal, in my opinion. So diamond, iron block. Uh, it's hard to get the iron block, but I'll, I'll make some sacrifices. Um, that is a very big deal. I mean, so your video's up. Hey, awesome. Okay. So I, I, I put in my instructions for uploading it. Like brackets, this is the new video. So there's a non-zero chance that that's in the title chat, but I'm, I'm sure it's not. I, but if you see that, then you know what, it's, it's my bad. Um, so, uh, so Ominous Mobs not wearing armor. So Ominous Mobs aren't meant to drop the armor, by the way. It's a temporary bug that they do. It's an interesting idea that they could later, like, decide to revert it to how it is bugged right now. I would even say that if Mojang wanted to test something, they could get away with it by telling people it's bugged, we will change it. And then they can't be mad when that changes, right? Also, a bog and a breeze and the ominous effect. This is the worst trial chamber combo I think you can get. And I don't want to deal with it. So I'm just going to not. <laughs> get out there, get some honey bottles. And then... Uh, oh, honey bottles would be great, actually, for this particular chamber. Let's go. And you too. You're all going down. Whether you know I exist or not. Oh, that looks like fun. Yeah, I love that Mojang has decided to make it a little bit harder because it is quite hard in its default state. A lot of people will struggle, but having something that's here just to give it that little extra modifier, that little extra fun, I think is crucial. Um, because I, I do think having different levels of challenge is important. Um, you effectively segregate the game even more because it's easy, normal, hard, and then easy, normal, hard, plus bad omen. But if you don't think about that too hard, it's real good. I don't like to think too hard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I think too hard all the time about everything. Um, okay, so switch out to the trident. Go and go, and I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm good. I'm going to survive it, chat. I'm just going to drink the honey bottle. No. Perfect. So you can recharge your axe while you're using your shield. Oh, this is, this is powerful stuff, chat. Yeah, look at that. That's wild. One hit KOs if we do it right. And there we go. We got an ominous key. We got two ominous keys. This is what I'm here for. This is what I need. This is what I desire. Uh, this is what I deserve, maybe even. Let's go use our ominous trail keys and try to get ourselves a heavy mace. Do 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 Okay, chat manifest. Now is the time more than any other. My Oh, my time is broken. No, it hasn't. It's doing weird things, though. It's sitting on the same second for a little bit too long sometimes. Or I'm going crazy. Could be hallucinating. I hope I'm not. I think more more problems could be resolved if people fought themselves. Am I hallucinating? Or is the world crazy? Because more often than not, it's your hallucinations. You ever heard about carbon monoxide leaks, chat? You don't want to. But it, actually, you do want to. A lot of times people start hearing, like, thinking, like, someone's broken into my house. Things that I'm sure are one way have started changing the other way. It's like, yeah, you you probably have a carbon monoxide leak. Um, should get that checked. Because uh, it will eventually kill you. Eventually, like, um, as your brain absorbs carbon monoxide, you get, like, loopier, basically. Um, I spent far too long as a teenager looking this up for reasons. Um, okay, so... Get this done. This is why we have carbon monoxide detectors. Yeah, that's that's it's why it's important to check them. I think everyone knows why a fire alarm is important. Like intuitively, fire is bad. <laughs> also, I think dying of a fiery death is a um is bad in most people's mind. You know, let's let's not be so close minded. Some people might want to die in a fiery death. But most people do not. So I'm getting hit from somewhere. There's gonna be a silverfish throwing potions at me. I just need to find him. Where is this silverfish? Honestly, this is the wildest thing, of the, the weirdest challenge of this whole structure. It's just finding where that last mob is. There should be like a bell style thing like you get with the uh, the villagers that does something like this. It would be nice. Where is he gone? <laughs> He's got to be on this side then. Oh, that's him there. No, where did that come from? What was that? <laughs> um, no, what what is... <laughs> Okay, I thought it was always attached to the mob. I've never seen it float separately. 
Um, that would suck. Good thing I'm subbed to IBX Toy Cat. Yeah, it is. It is a very good thing. Uh, not dying in house fires. One of my favorite ways to pass a Sunday evening. Okay, so I um, the thing just spawns randomly. Yeah, that seems to be true enough. It feels incorrect, but yet yeah, it must be correct. So yeah, the axe is a bit messy because you have to hit so infrequently, but that extra damage is nice. So it depends on the enemy whether it makes sense to or not. Okay, so nice. Uh, this does nine attack speed, nine attack damage. This does seven. I think that this is a better weapon, and this is even better than that. So let's let's go for it. Yeah, two 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 KOs. I mean, two hits if they're criticals. Even if he's got a diamond chest plate on, that's a good reward if you ask me. And some steak is an even better one. Um, so now this is the ominous free spawner. Again, I'm just here for your loot. Oh, actually, I've got another key I should use before we deal with all of this noise. Yeah, let's let's do it. Did you die? Oh, no, there you are. So there's gonna be another one. Let's kill him. Oh, it's so hard to get the timing right with Java Combat when you're in, like, intense situations like this. But it felt good. And you know what else feels good? A, a potion of regeneration. It's what I wanted this whole time, chat. It's all I've ever wanted in my life, really. So I'm glad the game can deliver. Um, I've used all of the trail chambers in this room. So, I mean, the vaults in this room. So we just need to climb back up and use the not vault. So pro tip, climb, climb, climb. And then find, find, find. I think it's over here. It's in one of these corners, chat. It's it's in an intuitive, unintuitive place. No, it's not. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, perfect. It's, re it's weird how well hidden this actually is, given the state of the structure. But here we go. Manifest. We gotta have it. I want to get a heavy core. Can we do it? Oh, banner. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Iron. So that was, I mean... Feels a bit backhanded if I'm asking specifically for... But it's okay. They're slowness as four arrows. So we can make enemies go real slow. Which is what we all want sometimes. Also, can you see up from that? You can. So there are there are multiple ways to like sneak your way into this thing. I like that. Did everything just get dark there, chat? Oh, yeah. My body is... Oh, it's begging me. I've got to stop. But I've also got to get this... Uh, I've got to get a heavy mace. Um, I'm 50% sure that you're gonna get it next time, says Dante's music. You know what, with, with, with maps like that, it'd be silly of me not to continue. Um, okay, so we'll come back to this room. There's definitely some more trial chambers we gotta reface. Now that I'm a strong, independent, uh, Minecrafter. And we'll be good. What's the rarity of the heavy core? The numbers haven't come out yet. We only found out about the... Oh, here we go. We only found out about the, uh the old way, because I think can be done we did it. So without a developer, we just have to brute force it with luck and odds. I imagine there's someone on the wiki, like some brave soul is probably collecting all the data from streams or something like that to work it out himself. But there we go. Ooh, another key. Love it. What just hit me? Uh, very lovely. I'll take this instead of these free arrows. <laughs> And then I'll get the little speed boats. I love that we're getting random potion effects, by the way. I thought they would be all negative. But they added some negative ones just to make it more negative in general. But you can get a lot of positivity. Speaking of positivity, chat, I'm going to need the most of that that you can deliver for me right now. Because we're about to go somewhere. And I need this to go out. Oh. Enchanted golden apple, emeralds. Oh, we got another one of those. And we got a diamond. So here's the fun thing. This ominous bottle, I can tell you without looking at it, I think it can only be three, four, or five. So now we have, um, oh, bad omen five. It's not enough for a core, but it is enough to go back to a village and have a really fun raid chat. So, you know, maybe, just maybe, that's what we do with it. So I can't drink it while we're in this place here. Oh, so two enchanted apples. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling powerful. I think I'm going to mix the sword... And the pickaxe. Yeah, and then put the pickaxe up here. Throw this away. And then just try and get any last rooms that we can explore in the time that we have left. Uh, I bet there are some rooms. I know there must be. And I, I see a lot of silverfish, so I bet. Where did they come from? I will find out. I mean, the amount of potions being fun at me. Telling me it's gotta be good. So is it back here, maybe? Yeah, here it is. So go find them. You. Dead. One hit. You. 
dead one. Oh, no, not one hit. Honestly, Java, I, I know it's because of my timing, but it feels like I'm just dealing random damage. Golden Carrot. It's no enchanted golden apple, but I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, you can get some more diamond armor too. Yeah, we are about to do an interesting fight chat. I'm going to fight a level 5 bad omen. I, I've never fought any bad omen level besides the base one that existed before this update. I don't know how it's going to go, to be entirely transparent with you. And I'm excited to find out to be even more transparent. So this is still going, right? Yeah, let's go find out why. <laughs> or maybe let's not. Um, uh, open some of these, maybe get a trial key or two. Yeah, so I have far too many trial keys for the situation we're in. Um, and I don't have enough ominous keys compared to what I would like. But I guess I could just go open that vault over there. I imagine I did, actually. Yeah, it looks pretty It looks pretty dead. Oh, no, it's not. Let's let's just see, just in case, right? You never know what you're going to get. Okay, banner. Okay. Okay. Nice. Um, but yeah, I think we're going back up to the surface. There are hidden rooms. Yeah, I don't think any of those are going to contain a spawner that I can take down. I, Again, my memory might just be failing me because of <laughs> my condition, but I I, um, I feel like I've gone to every room. But I, I, I am entirely willing to admit I might feel wrong. All feelings are wrong sometimes, chat. There's a life lesson that you're not meant to tell people. Um, feelings are reelings, but that doesn't mean they're of people's feelings. It's one of those hard parts of advancing in the world. Is knowing that other people are real and have their whole own independent preferences. Even that they, they, they don't even make sense sometimes. But that's because you and them are different people. Not because they're crazy. Um, okay, this, this is the last room, I think. I'm pretty sure I haven't been up here. We will find... Oh, it's a chest. Emeralds. I, I really don't need them. I don't need any of the things in here. But having, having now a full stack of wind charges is at least nice, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so we're heading out now, chat. This has been a lovely time to visit. But now I want to get at least one fun thing out of this experience. And that is I'm going to fight a Bad Omen 5 village. Actually, okay, let's... Uh, also, Minecraft players, try not to be obsessed with inventory management challenge. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those... It's the most personal element of how you play the game. It's like when you go into someone's house. It shouldn't matter how they organize it. But it still tells you a lot about them. And so people look at my inventory and they say, oh, yeah, I I am seeing something that I could not do. And I, therefore, I think that the way I do it is right. Like, it's kind of, it, it evokes hygiene, I guess, more than anything else. Like, the, the your hygiene response to things is what will basically determine a lot of the rest of you. Because hygiene is a non-negotiable emotion. The same is true to some extent with envy, um, which is like kind of the opposite political emotion to hygiene. But... You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of your there's a lot of your feelings that are um, there's a, there's a lot of things that you can negotiate with. If I, you know, even if I love the idea of people showering me in in praise or money or uh, whatever else it is, I can accept that some people uh, have uh, in in fact instead prefer to spend their time uh, here. And, uh, you know, like, they've got plans to do it later, and it's, it's not a right now thing. I don't go, ah, oh, but how could you even say you care? I say, oh, yeah, well, that's totally understandable. Different value set for me versus... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, it's Java, so that was very dangerous. Okay, we're gonna do something wild now, chat. I'm gonna do my first ever... I'm gonna put my shield in my hotbar, I guess. I'm gonna do my first ever... Um... Uh, level 5 Bad Omen raid. I don't know how much worse than a regular raid it will be. My theory is we'll get a lot more totems. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade to normal difficulty. Because the higher your difficulty, the more stuff you find. Um, I'm going to probably drink this potion of regen. Eh, yeah, drink it now. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, no, I threw one of these. That's that's fine, though. Then we're going to eat the closest thing I have to food. Four bread and golden carrots. We'll eat the bread now. And the golden carrots later. And uh, will be five times, says Carl Brown. See, will it be five times? I, I generally don't have any conception of how this is going to be. I have the vague notion that you get better rewards. But I, I might have misheard that. Might, that might be someone else's misinterpretation. Knowledge means only so much until you're in the real world. Um, okay, so I'm going to charge this crossbow. And now that's ready. 
Uh, yeah, this is probably the best weapon set I can have. Except we're going to switch this out for that. Yeah, this is as good as we're going to get. So chat, let's go. I need to keep at least some of my villagers safe. So I'm going to make sure they live in, in, in peace and harmony. And here's how you make peace and harmony, chat. Let me give you a secret. Oh, no. Go, go live in your house. Okay, bad news. I'm sealing you in. There's been a there's been an outbreak. And the only way to solve that outbreak is to lock you in your house. As long as one villager survives, we'll be fine. Are there multiple iron golems here? That's such an interesting difference. Um, it's, uh... Yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, so, yeah, just another YouTube commenter. Even if you're a member... Uh, you have the ability not to go through slow mode, but if you spam, you will still get uh, spam. Also, whack the bell. So just before we do this, I've had a very fun time so far today. I've got so much stuff just from Trial Chambers. Again, starting a world at this point would be incredibly fun. But I would also like to say that if you'd enjoyed your time here, if this, if this is your first stream, uh, somehow, I, I, it's, I, I guess a lot of people might be seeing a new update, consider hitting that bell to see more videos. Okay, with that said, let's drink the ominous bottle. Bad omen V. That's how you say it, bad omen v. And now let's go. That turns it into the raid omen. And in 30 seconds, we're about to have a fight. About to have a real bad fight. Uh, I think being at the top of this tower is going to give me the best vantage point, And I can jump down onto the corn later. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take advantage. I don't have a mace, which is what I really want, honestly. But I can throw some wind charges and do some cool stuff, I guess. Get some bread if we need it. Yeah, let's, let's go. Okay, I'm ready to defend this village in the in the most cowardly way possible where I ask my villagers to die so that I can shoot things from afar. <laughs> Set spawn. Oh, that'd be smart too. No, this is do or die, chat. Switch it to hardcore mode for all I care. Um, yeah, so will this scale based on difficulty too? Is, oh, okay. So there's only... There's only so many enemies there. Five? Six? And I imagine I can just take them all out. Um... I'm getting very bad hits. Okay, that's that's long shoot back. That's good. Okay, just just lean over the edge in a way where they won't hit me back. They can't even shoot me. They just know they want to shoot me. This is perfect. This is exactly perfect, chat. Um, so yeah, this first wave is incredibly easy. It just adds more waves. You haven't died yet, says Chantal X Lee. You know, it's a good point. Basically makes means we are playing easy for chat. Um I'm betting on die. I've seen this one before. So that is that guy dead. There's one last guy running around. He's got a banner on, which is interesting. Uh, but the Iron Golem will probably get... Oh, there we go. That's fun. Do you think my arrow hit the bell and then that highlighted him for me? Oh, he's, he's just gone into that person's house and murdered them. Um, yeah, this isn't working the way I wanted it to. But now he's in the water. I bet it will. Oh, how did that not hit? How... Okay, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'll get him eventually. He's... <laughs> He's, in, he's hiding so well. Honestly, this is kind of fun. This is like this. I wish you could get a telescope add-on for the crossbow. And you could feel like a sniper doing this stuff. Because right now... Oh, is he coming in here? You better not be coming in here, buddy. Okay, I'm going to shoot. While also avoiding the villager. That is kind of fun, honestly. I, okay, there we go. Iron Golem's got him. Boom. Level 2. Banner guy is the raid leader. Let's make sure he dies then, huh? So yeah, I'll throw a trident on the next guy, maybe. It won't do much. The loyalty on a trident is such a, like, necessity for it to be a va valuable ranged weapon. Um, I think the same can't be said for the mace. Okay, so let's get the raid leader. You won't... Okay, so... I want to see what happens if he dies first, chat. It'd be cool if when he went down, the whole raid went down. I don't think that's how it's going to work, but it'd be nice if it did. Okay, let's go. I'm going to... Okay, they might be coming up here. That's a real fear I have. Okay, no, don't bring, don't you, don't you bring people in here. No, why would you do this? Why would you do this to me, villager? You know I'm the sniper. I'm not good at close combat. That's not my role here. That's your role here. Let's jump down. Oh, that did not work. It wasn't flat. <laughs> uh, we'll eat an enchanted gold apple just for fun. I mean, I've got them lying around anyway, right? And then let's go crazy. Okay, there we go. That's the guy I want to kill. So I want to see if this will end the raid early. No, it does not. He's the raid leader, but he's just, you know, his leading status is just kind of fun. New mechanics are interesting. So raid level three. Again, if this was a normal raid prior to this update, we'd get five waves. Let's see how many we end up with right now. If he drops his banner, then villagers will attempt to pick it up. Oh, that's a cool fact. Let's put it over here. Let's shame these villagers. Okay, they're up there. I'll shoot them from a distance. Um, 
especially that guy. He's, he's the worst. Actually, this guy is the worst. You know, they're all the worst in their own way. Uh, but let's go for it. Oh, so much damage. So much damage. I didn't even craft diamond armor like I was going to. You know, let's take a quick little crafting break. I, uh, I'm i sure there's lots of things going on right here that could do with my attention. I can't do a crafting break because I don't have the, the wood. And this is a desert, so they don't have any wood either. Yeah, they'll come up in here and then we can just kill them as they try to come in. One by one. There's a witch. That's bad. Well, the witch will probably affect them just as much as me. There goes the Illager banner, and then they put it on. That's fun. That's a silly new mechanic, but it's one I like, chat. Okay, there's the witch. Let's go. Yeah, nice. So my iron golems are definitely taking a beating. But as long as I don't take a beating too, we'll be fine. So, yeah, killing the this guy is a bit of a nightmare sometimes. Did that guy did that just drop some ender pearls? That's that's kill a loop, so. I love the idea of them trying to give you more. Okay, so let's let's buy these. Oh, it's not working. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll just poke around here. Okay, this is not going well. So sit back, let some crossbows do the talking for a second. You over here? There you go. Shoot him in the face. Oh, very dead. No, oh, the cactus has got me. <laughs> Okay, I have no more food but the enchanted apple, but I want to save the enchanted apple. So it's worth doing a quick tactical craft. Uh, just a quick one. Just quick, quick little tacky. Um, get over to the forest here. Make those diamond boots. Make sure I get this done. So yeah, anyone who betted on my death, bet you're feeling real silly right now, huh? <laughs> I mean, the villagers are dead, but I, I'm letting them take that sacrifice. Let me tell you, that is my number one priority. And now let's chop this down. Lovely. And I don't know, turn it into this. So that is now a crafting table, plus the ability to make one in the future. Love abilities to make things in the future. And we can turn it into a diamond boots. Those will go a little bit of the way by themselves. But I think some diamond leggings would go even further. So there we go. Lovely. So that will make a huge difference to my survivability. Combine that with some extra wheat. And yeah, I think we're doing this chat. I think it's going great. More bread. Toy Cat Deathloop is always a good bet, says so Zotal Acronym. <laughs> My goal is to end the Toy Cat Deathloop. Will I do it? That's an interesting question with an interesting answer. Did the last uh, wave end? Oh, it must have. Yeah, a new one has spawned. So I'm going to attack these guys from a distance just using these. It's just a lot of fun, honestly. It's, uh, it's not an effective way to kill anyone, but that doesn't stop it being interesting <laughs> so let's go oh not i'm trying to eat the bread okay i'm so stupid that's why it, it wasn't working because i had the sword out you can't eat bread if it's not in either of your hands that's a fun java fact you might not know. go okay go 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 and then eat some more bread and oh yeah the, the number of villagers is starting to build up so if there are more waves they're going to continuously get harder on top of the ones we were already expecting to fight so i can see how that's going to become a bit of a wild challenge. There's so many witches. Go. Please don't. Okay. I'm out. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna win charge you all. <laughs> I want a health potion. And I want to win charge anyone who is standing between me and being able to use that health potion. I think I'm dead chat. Okay. Nope. We're good. We're good. I'm very good. I'm incredibly good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so if I go on the water, I think I'd be safe from anyone but a pillager. Oh no, there's a puffer fish. That puffer fish could spell my doom. Oh, so good that. I think that's my death, actually. Swim underwater just to avoid these arrows. <laughs> All right, Toy Cat death loop being averted once more. And now we're back here. We just have to shoot the odd crossbow attack back. And you can see already that the, the wild dash situation is not uh, is not very sustainable. Also, uh, ch everyone chat saying to eat my gapple. If I eat my gapple, I won't have a gapple. You know the phrase you can't have your cake and eat it too? That literally applies to my enchanted golden apple. Do you think I do you think I want to have my cake or do you think I want to eat it too? Um, one heart, not today. Death loop says plume. Exactly. We are defeating the death loop, uh, and it is high time that that happens. So I'm gonna quickly take a, a, a brief nap. Okay, please don't poison me. You can't do it. It's not fair. No, I'm over. Okay, we're fine. That's great. This is wonderful. Uh, just run over to a corner. As more mobs spawn, this is gonna become untenable. So I just want to find the nearest bed. Sneak in, block the entrance, and go for it. So, there we go. 
in the bed. <laughs> we'll, we'll do a bit of eating in the morning, maybe. You can't move through your hotbar while you're sleeping on Java. And, yep, yeah, this seems good to me. I'll just live in here happily. Uh, mine this block of an axe. Not because I think it should be mine of an axe, but because I'm too lazy to inventory manage. And let's go. Out of there. And into anywhere else. So the witches are my first target. They are the ones that are annoying. Okay. Really got him bad, so he goes to the health potion. Exactly what I need. More bread. And then back in. Okay, so we want the witches on the back foot. We want them to be healing rather than hurting. Once they finish healing, they will start hurting. And that is very bad. Okay, one last. Okay, he's coming off me. He's coming off me. He's got really good run speed too. Okay, still can't, still can't eat. Jump over this. And then go for it now. I think I'm going to get it in just barely. And I'm going to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Put him on the back foot. Just a little bit. Just the tiniest bit. And then you two. You're going down, which I swear you are. Finally. So that is just wave four. It's going a lot harder. Use the wind charge to launch yourself onto buildings. Yeah, it's a very fun thing to do. Like, it is also tactical sometimes. But it's mostly fun if we're being honest with ourselves. Being honest with yourself is hard. But sometimes, maybe it's a good idea too. I think I should also just get the shield out and just admit that the idea otherwise has failed. So 12 bread. Move this. Put the shield on. And go a little bit more defensive. That's where all the enemies are now. Look how many there are already, chat. So the, the enemy waves are definitely just scaling more and more and more. Um, three to five more waves, I think. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Yeah, fight me. Fight me. Okay, he's, he doesn't want to fight me. He's got other plans. And that's okay. Um, so you are my next target. Where is he right now? Where did they go? <laughs> um, so as long as we get them as they're coming up these stairs, we'll be just fine. I did not get them up the stairs. I am not just fine. Getting right out there and right back into here. Oh, they have axes, so I can't actually use the shield. Interestingly. At this point, they're like ants on an anthill. That's very rude to my Illager friends. Just because they have a different skin tone to Steve, it doesn't mean they're like a bug. That's an incredibly offensive thing. I would like an apology on behalf of the Illagers. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of nice. Then from up here, we can shoot their arrows back at them. I'm not getting hit in any meaningful way. And I can do some poisoning in some meaningful way. Just what I want to be able to do. Yeah, the further we go through here, the more this is going to matter. And while we're on top of a building, we're basically immune from anything. Bar the craziest of crazy things. Oh, that was nice. Uh, he thinks he can get me, but he can't, but I can get him. Lovely. Yeah, this has saved me a lot of arrows. Thank you for being so considerate. Appreciate the assistance. Um, there are still a lot of people dying in my village. But that one village is going to be safe, and so the raid won't end. It's going to be wonderful. Raids have three freezy, five medium, and seven for hard. If you start the raid of more than one level five element, there is one more raid. So they do keep the easy, normal, hard thing. I think it would be better if they didn't, if you can have your easy, normal, hard be separate to that. Because otherwise it encourages difficulty switching. Which is like, fine. It's just, you know, it's janky. It's, um... Like, people don't stay permanently on hard just to do things that you need for hard. They just switch back and forth in it. You know, maybe that's a cool skill, but it's also, like, a weird one to have to learn. So I'm going to lock these guys into the water. It's just, they're just... Yeah, these wind charges are not an aggressive weapon. They are much more of a defensive one. Much better suited for this. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, if you, bet, if you bet on the toy cat death, it looks like you were right. Um... But yeah, as we as we go through this entire thing, I'm gonna now have to deal. You're a victim. Uh, I'm a victim of difficulty switching. <laughs> We're all victims of difficulty switching. There's help here for you if you need it. Uh, there's support. There are people you can talk to. Okay, so that's the shield deactivated. Um, and then we can bounce over here. And uh, we got a pickaxe, but that's not what I want. A trident I can make do with, and the bread I'll do just fine. With. So let's go into combat. So I've still got the wind charges to get on top of roofs, but I will be instead preferring to do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, no, not evokers. That's my first sign for a totem, though. But I don't want this sign for a totem. Uh, this is a very bad sign that a totem is coming. I would much rather not have one than this. But this is okay. Now let's just... Ooh, whip our way over here. Go. You have to die. It is in my interests that you not be alive anymore. I'm dead. I'm dead, chat. 
Okay, so I just want to get to the sixth wave to prove it exists. And then I'll admit that somehow I was beaten easier by a by a feature that's been in the game for a while already versus one that's new. It's a uh, it's a fun fun reminder that the raid is a fun mechanic. And it's not a bad reward, all things considered. Okay. Pick the stuff up. I think I got it. Put it on. Put this there. We're good to go. Back into the fight. So you are going down. There's there's no way around it. Oh man, yeah, that's that's the way around it. <laughs> Knock him away. Get to the eat. Can't eat. That's fine. Eat over here. They'll be kind of trapped between them there and here. Jump this way. Yeah, getting getting these guys on the beat is actually kind of a hard thing. Um, it's funny saying on the beat it implies Minecraft is a rhythm game, but you know what I mean, right? There's a there is a rhythm to combat on Java. That when you miss it, you get punished. Okay, go. You're dead. You you can't keep doing this to me. <laughs> you can. He can. He has that ability. I'm pretending he can't, but he very much... Oh! Okay, I just need to... I just need to get through this chat. I just need to... The Toy Cat death loop is inevitable. It's true. We've proven that you, 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 you think you can bet against it. You think there's a way out, chat. But there's never a way out. There is only more death loop. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to put this armor on. That's protection, by the way. Put this stuff down there. Uh, we've got all of our food back, and so now we should be able to finish this quite easily. Go. Go. Okay. Lots of death. Oh, there's so many vexes. I hate vexes so much. Can you please go away, vexes? Okay. So yeah, this, the, the, the illusioner or whatever it's called is much harder on Java. Um, the evoker, I guess. He evokes so hard, and you don't expect their vexes to be so powerful. But they do be so powerful. They got little swords. He's taking damage. I don't know what he's done wrong, but... Okay. Rhythm is wrong. It's over. <sighs> okay. I need, I need to do this myself. I just want to get to wave six. Prove it exists. Admit my own defeat. <laughs> I Yeah, I, uh, I always try to, when I'm on a stream, I massively underestimate. Like, well, would it be more fun to try and to have a chance of failure? than to guarantee it won't happen. It's something I have to learn out for me when Hardcore comes to Bedrock. Um, I don't know when that's coming. I, I, oh, so what is that dolphin doing? <laughs> Why is he eating my items? That's not what you're meant to do there. Um, the loop returns. The loop always the loop always demands its, uh, its toll. This is, today is no different. Um, okay, so we're getting less stuff each, each time. Just one successful charge in. That's all I need. Avoid the vexes. There's so many of them. Perfect. He's dead. That's a totem for me, right? Yep. Put it in the offhand. <laughs> Why isn't it going there? It doesn't automatically equip. Okay. It's in the offhand. There's two mobs remaining. These guys don't count. They're going to die by themselves, which is wonderful. You count. I don't know why you're not fighting me, but I'm very happy with it. Oh, the, the, the timing is so weird. He doesn't know when he wants to fight me or not. I thought that was a bedrock issue. It's nice to see. There we go. Nice activation of a totem. It's nice to see it exists on Java 2. Uh, it's not just bedrock that's broken. There we go. So there's meant to be five waves. Oh, there was five waves, chat. So yeah, that's that's what I mean by like, yeah, you hear about there's more waves. Everyone in chat says there's more waves. Where do they get that from? Where did they learn that information? It's not true. We went through five waves. We got one totem and the raid is over. Thankfully, for my for my safety, it is over. Um, oh, it's so hard to get these guys. They rely on you. Okay, just 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 come come closer, friend. You don't need to do what you're doing here. You could live a happy life somewhere else. Ah, oh, so that was a stream. I enjoyed it a lot. I have a new video about the snapshot if you want to watch it. And I'm gonna go lay down because I don't think I can stay up anymore. I had a really great time today. Thank you for watching. You appreciate this. Let me know in the ways that you let people know. Like, favorite, subscribe. Consider becoming a member. And I look forward to seeing you next November. Or ideally, like, tomorrow. Yeah, I think uh, Mojang said that they're actively looking for community feedback. So my plan is to be constructive. A lot of people messed it up. My goal is to not. And so that's what we will try not to do. Oh, <laughs> that was useful. Does this work underwater, by the way? Oh, it does. That's fun. It might save your life one day. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Oh.